Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Again, wanna thank everyone for your support on the channel. All the viewers, all the subscribers, immensely appreciate the support. Today I wanted to talk about three stocks that have upcoming ex dividend dates this next week. Three stocks that I think are very good candidates for dividend capture swing trading types of strategies. And for the new viewers on the channel, the ex dividend date is very important because that's the date in which the rights of a dividend are transferred. If you buy before the ex-dividend date and then hold until the trading of the ex-dividend date, you are entitled to the dividend. You can then sell off on that ex-dividend date or thereafter, still pick up the dividend. But if you are a buyer and buy on the ex-dividend date or thereafter, you are no longer entitled to that next dividend payment. You'd have to wait until the next dividend date and then hold again on the day of trading on the ex-dividend date to capture that dividend. And it's very, very powerful because you can essentially buy the day before or the week before capture the dividend and then sell off on the next dividend date or maybe a week or a month later, capture the dividend as well as do a nice swing trade. So it's a very cool way of investing. It's not foolproof. If your stock does start trending down on the next dividend date and thereafter, you may have to hold the stock longer term. And that's why I try to pick stocks that are very good long-term plays, typically blue chip stocks, a couple that I'll be talking about today, IBM and XLM. But I do like to swing in some very high risk, high reward stocks. And the one I'll be talking about last will be a very high risk penny stock that has a 20 plus percent dividend yield and is very, very risky. But again, with risk comes reward with the stock market. So having said all of that, let's jump into the three stocks here. The first one you can see up on screen here, IBM International Business Machines. If you go to the bottom here, you can see this is a company that essentially is now geared towards big business, providing big business with uh, uh, networking, cloud computing, lots of computer solutions for them, really not uh, for the individual customer anymore. Q1 earnings 2017 and forward, you can see very good earnings. Actually, Q4 2017, it had earnings over $5 per share. Dividend yield in the middle, very good, 3.846% on the last dividend payment. The upcoming ex dividend date dividend payment will be about 3.6, 3.7% or so. Very large uh, market cap company here, $151.55 billion. If we take a look at the price of the stock, you can see today was down a bit, 1.98%, but over the last one month, three months, it is up 5.44 and 7.24. Over the past year and five years, it is down a bit, 3.3% and, five, or excuse me, 7.24%. But nevertheless, I think this is a very good, uh, stock for dividend capture swing trade. It's a blue chip stock. It is a safe stock to hold longer term. So the important dates on this one, you have to buy before the 8th. So the 8th of February is the ex dividend date. The payment date will be on the 10th of March, $1.50 per share. Again, about 3.6, 3.7% dividend yield. So that is the first stock. The second stock is also in my portfolio, XOM, ExxonMobil. Again, a very well-known blue chip company. You can see it's an oil and gas stock. If we go up to the middle here, the revenue, Q4 earnings 2016 and forward. Very, very good. It was beating its expected earnings per share, Q3. Q4 is still pending here. We'll have to see how that pans out. I think the earnings call is maybe today or this week, maybe next week, but it's coming up fairly soon. Dividend yield, last dividend payment, 3.3%. The next one will be about that same 3.1, 3.2% or so. Very, very large company, 369.9 billion. If we go up to the top to the price, you can see very good day today, 2.03% in the green, and then 1.05, 6.87, 8.38. And over the last one year, it is up a bit, 10.7% and 17.66% over the past five years. But again, like IBM, kind of a up and down pattern, very large swings in the price of the stock. But I again, I do believe this is a very good candidate for swing trade, dividend capture. It's a blue chip company, very large market cap company. And I do believe that this would be a very, very good candidate. The important dates for XOM, ExxonMobil, you have to buy before the 9th. So the 9th of February is the ex dividend date. The payment date will be the 9th of March. It's 77 cents per share. And again, about two, 3.2, 3.1% or so dividend yield. So those are the first two stocks. Again, I think these would be very, very good candidates, safe candidates. The next one here is much higher yield, but very, very risky. It's a penny stock that I've had in the portfolio. 
really since the beginning of my portfolio here. SDR Sandridge Mississippian Trust. If we go to the bottom here, you can see this is essentially holding royalty interest. It gets uh, gets its income from uh, that particular mode of uh, 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 return. It's really not a business per se. And we'll kind of go to the top here and we'll show it's kind of a dying business, to be quite honest. Very high yield dividend, as you can see there, 28.014%. The next dividend payment will be around 23, 24% or so. If we scroll up to the top here, you'll see that this stock is really been trending back here actually over the last month it's up but that's only because it's been trending back uh quite dramatically here 21.28 percent over the last three months one year 29 percent and over the last five years 80.65 percent so a graph of a dying company but there is still some opportunity to do some swing trading with this stock the important dates for this stock will be the 8th of february you have to buy it before that that's the exhibit end date the payment date will be the 23rd of February, and it's $0.06 cents per share, so about 23%, 24% or so dividend yield. Again, this is a very, very risky. XOM, IBM, much, much safer. This is a very, very high-risk play. But again, anything on the stock market with risk equals more reward. So take that into consideration when thinking about jumping into the stock. Again, I want to point out I am not a market professional. These are simply stocks I'm taking a look at personally for doing dividend capture, swing trading, the last one here, much, much more risk than the other two, IBM and ExxonMobil, XOM. But again, these dividend captures, you might have to take some time with these. The stock price always drops on the exit dividend date like I posted in a prior video this past week. So if the price does drop and it doesn't rebound right away, you might have to hold for a week, two weeks, or longer. So that's why I like to do it with stocks that you can hold longer term, collect the dividend, and are assured that they will maintain their price over the long term. Blue chip companies, essentially. Penny stocks, they can be very, very good rates of return, but they are very risky. And if they start trending down, you may have to sell off for a loss. Otherwise, you might lose a lot of money trading those. So those are the three stocks here. Again, XOM, ExxonMobil, IBM, International Business Machines, and SDR, the stock up on screen here, Sandridge, Mississippi, and Trust. So let me know if you guys like these picks or you have better picks. I'm always enjoying you guys when you give me better stocks to take a look at. There's thousands of stocks out there. These are simply the ones that I have found that are in my portfolio that I've come across, but there are probably much, much better ones out there as well. So please let me know if you guys are having any other stocks that you're taking a look at this next week for either swing trading or dividend capture. So again, I appreciate all of your prior comments on suggestions. I'm going to do a video, I think, user suggested dividend capture swing trading stocks. I think in a couple weeks or so, if I have time, so not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until next video, we'll see you then.